Hi everyone, welcome to week 14 of Nutrition Bites. Okay, so in the previous weeks I've done a couple of recipes that involve tofu, uh, so today we're going to talk more about cooking with tofu. All right, so first we're going to uh, talk a little bit about just soy and all the um, controversy that is out there. Uh, then I'll talk about the nutritional profile of tofu, the different types of tofu, some cooking tips, and then I'll share some of my favorite recipes and the weekly challenge. All right, so this is a quote from a Harvard article called Straight Talk About Soy, and in the article version of this, I'll link the full article for you to read. But the takeaway is this. Soy is a unique food that is widely studied for its estrogenic and anti-estrogenic effects on the body. Studies may seem to present conflicting conclusions about soy, but this is largely due to the wide variation on how soy is studied. Results of recent population studies suggest that soy either has a beneficial or neutral effect on various health conditions. Soy is a nutrient-dense protein source and can be safely consumed several times a week and probably more often and is likely to provide health benefits, especially when eaten as an alternative to red and processed meats. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of peace of mind about soy. All right, so let's look at the nutritional profile of tofu. So tofu is a complete protein, which means that it contains all the essential amino acids. It's also a source of healthy fats, protein, carbohydrates, fiber, and minerals. So just to break it down for you a little bit, this is what uh, three ounces or like a fifth of the block of firm tofu would provide. And it's really low in calories, only 80 calories, only four grams of fat, two grams of uh, carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, no cholesterol, five milligrams of sodium, so really low in sodium, eight grams of protein, and then some iron and some calcium. So when you compare that to like a similar serving of chicken, the difference is, is pretty crazy. Um, so I will have that spelled out in the article version of that as well for you to see the difference between the two. All right, so there are kind of three main types of tofu. Um, there's silken tofu, which is the softest type of tofu. Um, and this is good for blending if you're going to do like homemade yogurt or sauces, dressings, things like that. Silken tofu works the best because it's really soft, really silky. Uh, then we have like firm, extra firm tofu. And this is kind of the standard tofu that you see. And again, this ranges in uh, degrees of firmness. So you have soft, medium, firm, and extra firm. And then we have super firm tofu, which is pretty dense and it usually has the highest protein content. All right. So here are some cooking tips. The first, and I highly recommend you do this, is to press the tofu. This is a must for flavorful tofu. And you can get pretty affordable tofu presses online, or alternatively, you can wrap it up in paper towel and put something heavy on it, like a cutting board. I've even used the base of my blender. That works great, but just something to press out that excess water. And doing this, when you press out that extra water, it allows it to soak up whatever you decide to marinate it in. So that leads us to step two, which is to marinate the tofu in a sauce and do this for a few hours if possible. I actually try to do this overnight. Um, I try to press the tofu and then put it in its marinade and then let it sit overnight, really just to make it extra flavorful. Um, but again, if you don't have time to do that, just letting it sit for half an hour to an hour can work great as well. And then lastly, I recommend using an air fryer or a toaster oven to save time for cooking your tofu. Um, these aren't the only ways to prepare it, but they're definitely um, the quickest. There are lots of other ways to prepare tofu though. You can bake it, you can saute it, you can crumble it and scramble it, you can blend it into a sauce, you can make yogurt. And then I do wanna mention tempeh, and I actually talked about tempeh in our uh, session last week. So you can prepare tempeh in similar methods as you can tofu. So you can swap it out in a lot of recipes. Similarly, you can bake it, you can saute it, you can scramble it, crumble it. Um, that sort of thing, do it in the air fryer toaster oven. So if you're already on the tofu train and you want to try something new, try swapping out tempeh. 
All right, so here are three of my favorite ways to make tofu. The first is to do a tofu egg salad, and I'm gonna include all these recipes in the article. Tofu egg salad is super easy, much easier than normal egg salad because there's you don't have to boil and peel eggs. Um, you really just crumble up the tofu and mix in your seasonings, and you can put it on a sandwich. It's delicious. Uh, next, I, as I mentioned, I love to air fry my tofu. So again, I press the tofu, I let it sit in even just some low sodium soy sauce, um, can make it super flavorful and then air fry it for like 10 to 12, 15 minutes. Um, and then lastly, my third favorite recipe is to do tofu slices again for a sandwich, or you can do these for like um, spring wraps or rolls, um, but you basically let the tofu uh, marinate in low sodium soy sauce and then you bake it on, on, uh, on a pan in the shape of like slices instead of cubes. Um, again, great on sandwiches. All right, so here is the weekly challenge. I would love for you to try making tofu two new ways that you don't usually do this week. Um, or if you are a tofu veteran, I wanna challenge you to experiment with tempeh this week. So that is it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all next week.